How's everyone doing? Today I have a horror Blu-ray and DVD collection update with six pickups. And if you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them and let me know which one of these is your favorite. Leave me those comments down below. And first up is I feel like one that I've seen everybody posting about uh, and that's Scream on 4K. And I remember there initially, uh, it was kind of like delayed. A lot of the places didn't get it. I feel like that's going to be kind of a, a common occurrence. I, it's happened with a few different releases and I feel like it's still going to happen coming up, uh, especially during you know the winter months. But uh, hopefully it won't be much longer. Uh, again, I know a few different titles were pushed back, delayed. Uh, but Scream on 4K, I haven't had a chance to pop it in yet, but I'm excited to check it out. Uh, let me know what your favorite movie in the Scream franchise is. For me, it's Scream 2. Uh, I feel like I, I like that one just a little bit more. Um, this kind of ushered in a new wave of, of horror during that time period. You had, you know, Scream. I know what you did last summer, Urban Legend, all those kind of ones. I feel like they're in that same realm. Uh, this was definitely the best of the bunch for sure, this franchise. And uh, let me know what you thought of the recent Scream 5 trailer. To me, watching that trailer made me feel like I watched the whole movie. They gave so much information away. I feel like all you're missing is just the big reveal of who the killer is. Uh, and I, I, I don't know, I feel like it might be somebody that was, you know, either a family member or somebody that you thought was dead that turns out not to be. Something to that effect is going to be what it is. But I, I, that trailer just, I feel like I watched the whole movie with that. Um, but yeah, I definitely, uh, am, I'm going to check it out though. I'm going to look forward to seeing it. I like the Scream franchise overall. It's not my favorite, like a lot of people, but I do think it's, uh, you know, uh, interesting and, you know, fans... Uh, of the the slasher genre you definitely it feels like it's like an ode for sure and i think fans will appreciate that but the first scream on 4k excited to uh revisit that i i did a whole marathon of the scream movies uh i want to say a couple years ago so but i'm excited to check it out on 4k next up i picked up two releases from second sight uh which second sight films they're a company in the uk and uh, this was region free, like Mungo, which I love this movie, an Australian uh, found footage movie. And then this turned out, I thought it was because this was and a couple other titles were region free, Paranormal Activity. And this turned out not to be region free. So bummed about that. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the first Paranormal Activity movie. I thought it was very overhyped, but I haven't saw it. Uh, I haven't seen it since it first came out. Uh, so it's been a while since I've actually sat down and seen it. I saw everybody posting uh, during October that they were watching, especially leading up to Halloween. I saw a lot of posts about it, so I was like really in the mood to check it out. And then it turns out it's Region B locked. Uh, and it's a really beautiful set. I'm going to do an unboxing of it. Uh, it's from Second Sight Films, which has some amazing releases. And, you know, they come with this outer slip case right there. You get the black case and the disc. And you get a book, really thick book. It to me, like I just felt like it was just uh, you know walk, sleepwalking, and then you know at the very end you get like a one jump cheap jump scare. Um, but I don't. I feel the same way about Blair Witch Project. I feel like it was just those two movies are the most over hyped movies in horror history. But I wanted to revisit this one. I revisited Blair Witch Project and it still doesn't work for me. I know everybody points to the marketing, but even the marketing doesn't, if you really think about it, like I get it, most people were younger when it came out, but so if you were over the age of five and you believed a real witch lived in the woods of Maryland, I got a bridge to sell you, but you got some, uh, you know, art cards and stuff in here too for the different nights. Uh, and, you know, again, the outer slipcase, it's a really nice addition for fans of the film. If you are region free, it looks like it's worth checking out. Again, found footage movies, they're, you know, they're not going to look great. They're going to look how they're intended to look. Uh, so, you know, they're shot in a cheap manner and, you know, you don't really want them cleaned up, I think, either. Uh, but Lake Mungo, I've heard people say, you know, that I want 4K releases and I feel like those ones necess aren't necessary for that. But uh, Lake Mungo, uh, this to me is one of my favorite found footage movies. I'm going to do a top 10 of my favorite found footage movies. Uh, this one's going to be high up there. Wreck, of course, is going to be on there. But I feel like I want to mention some, like, uh, underrated one, too. Like, uh, Afflicted, uh, I feel like is really underrated. Maybe I'll do an underrated list. Because I feel like there's going to be some of the same ones. But, you know, Player, uh, Paranormal Activity and Blair Witch aren't going to be on my list. Um, but, yeah, so this one for sure is going to be on there. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's an Australian movie. It's about this girl who uh, drowns uh, when she's on, like, uh, going on a trip with her family. And then uh, they, they're going through grief. This movie is really basically just a haunting look at grief. And then they have these weird, strange events happening. And they think they see her on camera. 
uh, you know, and there's like all these different like appearances supposedly of her uh, and different photographs and stuff. And they kind of like delve deeper into it. And the scene with uh, the class trip, that one shot is just creepy and haunting. And the end as well. I love it. Uh, so this one, again, it, it's not really, it has, you know, it's always that underlying sense of uneasiness and tension but it's really for me more about grief and i just love the heck out of this one for found footage again uh, it's not my favorite subgenre for horror uh found footage but i'll do just an impromptu unboxing and again you've got different art cards and stuff in here i'll do a more in-depth unboxing of these uh coming up soon but again i like these releases what second uh site is doing uh, they're, they did one for a 4K release for the guests recently. I want to pick that one up because most 4K releases are region free. Uh, and then you get, you get a nice booklet. I really appreciate when they uh, include the booklets in here like this, especially if you're a fan of the film, um, you know, behind the scenes information and shots like that. Ooh, I can't show it. It's, it's freaky. I'm going to show it. It's, but yeah, there's some really creepy moments in here. Uh, and then, you know, the outer slip case. And then I'll show you actually... Uh, behind the J card, the shots on the back, kind of like that wraparound artwork, which I just think looks awesome. But I love the style of these releases. So very happy to add this one to the collection. Uh, again, I, I wanted to just revisit Paranormal Activity, but um, somewhat bummed about that one not being region free. But this one is, and I would highly recommend it if you're a fan of like the found footage genre. But yeah, uh, maybe I want to do the top 10 underrated found footage movies and then my top 10 favorite found footage uh, movies So uh, for horror. But next up, this is one I don't I don't think I show this one yet, but I know I did a couple Dollar Tree haul ones. I don't think I posted at least one of them yet, but this is a Walmart Select title. I feel like uh, the Dollar Trees are getting a lot of Walmart uh, Select ones and Canadian releases and stuff like that. And that's cool because a lot of those ones like you don't see often in the Canadian releases. Sometimes we don't have the Blu-ray release here or they have a slip cover that we don't have, something like that. But this was a really interesting movie. Uh, for me, it's all about the ending. Uh, the ending almost feels like it should be part of like the Marvel universe, like Marvel comic book universe, like Thor and stuff like that. But basically, uh, it's about this one woman who is trying to contact her son who passed away. And she's dealing with this like occult expert and they're dealing in black magic and kind of like a descent into that and psychological breaking points. And uh, that climax uh, is memorable. Uh, but I remember really enjoying this one and being surprised by it. Uh, and this is a, um, is this not, I thought it was a Scream Factory release. I guess it's not. I thought it was. But uh, it's a Raven Banner release. But yeah, this one definitely uh, surprised me uh, for the ending and the kind of like descent. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't hear people talk about this one. I feel like it deserves a little bit more attention. Next two are ones that really surprised me. Um, so I've been doing videos on here for a while and I'm on review list for certain ones. And sometimes, you know, things will just show up randomly. I didn't request them or anything like that. Um, I don't get everything for review like some people do, but I'm thankful for the opportunities I do get. Uh, but sometimes I'll get stuff and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. And this one is, uh, there's two, the both of them. This one is Claw. I think these are both releases that are put out through Mill Creek. Uh, but this is, is a Velociraptor horror movie. I love that cover, though. And I remember uh, Durant Cinema. I remember him talking about this. Uh, I was I remember him posting about it, too, on, like, another channel. It was, like, a group. Maybe it was Mid-Level Media, where they had, like, uh, they were talking about the releases for the month. Uh, but, yeah, this one is basically uh, a, a couple of friends. Uh, their uh, tire blows in the middle of the desert. And they have to uh, basically spend the night in a remote ghost town. And then there is a, uh, a scientist, who a mad scientist, who... Uh, I guess, created a Velociraptor. And uh, the Velociraptor escapes and, I guess, is hunting down the group of friends in the ghost town. So it looks wild. And you don't really see, uh, you know, Velociraptor movies outside of, like, Jurassic Park and stuff. So um, I'm kind of curious to see what the look... I mean, on the back right here, the Velociraptor looks interesting. It looks like a decent quality. But is it going to be just something like a rubber suit? Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be digital or what. But curious. I'll give this one a shot. Claw. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, you know, Mill Creek, it says ITN, uh, I think it's a distribution, but yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure they release uh, this one. So Mill Creek, uh, they've released a lot of, you know, low budget, uh, horror stuff too. And then Bram Stoker's Van Helsing, uh, this is High Flyers, uh, I think entertainment down there, or High Flyers Films is what it says on there. So yeah, I feel like this covers total ripoff of Abraham, uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Vampire Hunter. So 
that that look right there and the back actually i think that look is really cool i'd rather see that in the front but i guess this is iconic and people will look at it and it'll make them think of abraham uh, lincoln vampire hunter movie so yeah we'll see um it, it seems pretty straightforward uh van helsing has to uh, i guess uh fight some vampires off uh somebody's fiance becomes a victim to this mysterious illness so i guess she becomes a vampire and uh that's going to be a straightforward one for sure. I feel like I'll, maybe I'll do like an underrated vampire movie list. And I, one of the movies I mentioned would be on that list. I feel I, I almost don't want to give it away because I, it's just about the journey for that one. But uh, nobody talks about this movie. I mentioned it uh, earlier. And people should check it out. Afflicted. Check out Afflicted. If you like found footage movies, I'd recommend that one. And it also works for another genre that I just mentioned. But there you go. Those are the six pickups. If you've seen any of them, definitely let me know what you think of them. Did you check out the recent Scream uh, 5 trailer? Let me know what you thought of that one. Um, and then Lake Mungo. Lake Mungo does not get enough love. Check that one out for found footage. Uh, let me know uh, found footage movies that you think are underrated. Uh, leave me some comments down below. And maybe some horror movies that you thought looked cheesy and you gave a fair chance and they turned out to be good. Something like that. Give me some recommendations. But uh, let me know what you've been watching recently too. Uh, I watch horror movies all year round. It's my favorite genre by far. But of course, everybody ramps it up during Halloween, you know, October. Uh, so let me know if you've seen any good horror movies recently as well that you'd recommend. Leave me all those comments down below. And again, let me know if you've seen these movies, what you think and what's your favorite. Uh, and hope everybody's doing well. Take care.